we will focus on the most common skin growths. The first and most prevalent type is nevi, which are present in 100% of the population and are commonly known as moles. Moles are groups of pigmented cells called melanocytes, varying in size and shape. They develop when skin cells grow in clusters rather than spreading out. Sun exposure and genetics play significant roles in the development of nevi. The vast majority of nevi are completely benign, posing no problems throughout one's life. However, some nevi carry a risk of turning into cancer, specifically melanoma. This risk increases if a nevus is asymmetrical, has a different shape from other nevi, is larger than a pencil eraser, i.e., has a diameter larger than 6 mm, has irregular or poorly defined borders, or exhibits varying colors such as black, brown, skin color, or blue within a single mole. The lifetime risk of developing melanoma is around 2% in white individuals and significantly lower in black individuals. Moles typically do not require treatment, however, atypical ones may be removed surgically or with laser. If a mole is atypical but non-cancerous and raised, surgical shaving is also an option. Warts, the second most common skin growth, are small, rough growths caused by the human papillomavirus, HPV, and can have distinctive shapes, including cauliflower-like or bumpy surfaces. Warts are particularly common among children and adolescents, affecting around 10% of the population, but they can occur at any age. They are most commonly spread through direct skin-to-skin -skin contact, with individuals with weakened immune systems at slightly increased risk. While warts can spread to others and different body parts, their risk of becoming cancerous is extremely low. Most warts are less than 1 cm in diameter and disappear on their own without treatment within two years, although some may last longer or recur after treatment. Warts are usually skin-colored, but some may have black dots within them, indicating clotted blood vessels. HPV causes rapid cell division and multiplication, leading to skin growths. Skin warts and genital warts are caused by different HPV strains, with those causing skin warts generally benign and not associated with a risk of malignancy. The most common treatment for warts is the application of salicylic acid over several weeks, which is effective in most cases. Cryotherapy, using liquid nitrogen to freeze and destroy warts, is another treatment option. The third most common skin growth is seborrheic keratosis, affecting almost all elderly individuals. These growths are usually darker than the surrounding skin and are also known as age spots or senile warts. They typically range from one to several centimeters in diameter. Both sun exposure and genetics contribute to their development. Although harmless in nature, seborrheic keratosis can sometimes resemble melanoma, a type of skin cancer. However, they are benign and do not become cancerous. Seborrheic keratosis represents a benign overgrowth of keratinocytes, the skin cells. The most common locations for seborrheic keratosis are the face, back, and chest, though they can appear anywhere on the body. The fourth most common skin growth is molluscum contagiosum, especially prevalent among children. These are raised bumps on the skin that are smooth, pearly, and often have a small dimple or pit in the center. Sometimes referred to as water warts, they can resemble water-filled blisters and spread easily in moist environments, such as swimming pools. Molluscum contagiosum affects children and, less frequently, adults, with lesions measuring 2 to 5 mm in diameter. Spread through person-to-person -person contact, these growths are caused by the molluscum contagiosum virus. They are benign with no risk of cancer and commonly appear on the neck, face, abdomen, and armpits. Molluscum contagiosum typically resolves on its own within 6 to 12 months and treatment is often unnecessary. If needed, cryotherapy, surgery, curettage, topical applications of cantharidin, derived from beetles, causing blistering to help detach the bumps, or imiquimod cream, which modifies the immune system to fight the virus more effectively, can be used. The fifth most common skin growth is the cherry angioma, 
particularly prevalent in older individuals. By the age of 30, almost 100% of older adults have several angiomas. Also known as senile angiomas, these are bright red, dome-shaped bumps on the skin, typically less than a quarter inch, around 5 mm, in diameter. Cherry angiomas are a localized overgrowth of small blood vessels, are very common and harmless. They can appear anywhere on the body but are most commonly found on the trunk, arms, and shoulders. If they present any cosmetic concerns, options for removal include laser therapy, cryotherapy, or surgical removal. Skin tags represent another very common type of skin growth. They are harmless overgrowths of skin that contain collagen fibers and blood vessels, encapsulated within a thicker layer of skin. These growths are small and fleshy, often likened to a deflated balloon in appearance. While typically skin-colored, they can darken to brown and are frequently attached to the skin by a thin stalk. Skin tags predominantly occur in areas such as the neck, armpits, groin, eyelids, and sometimes under the breasts. Factors contributing to their development include obesity, friction, insulin resistance, and genetics. Despite their prevalence, skin tags are completely benign, carry no risk of cancer, and are not contagious.